next hour. Welcome viewers. Today I'll show you how to make a torch out of spruce branches. It's a super easy method. You can do this in the dark. All it is is bundles of spruce twigs rolled up. And the ends are in the middle here and they're super fine. And then the more thicker ones are on the outside. And you might think, why the hell would you want that? Well, what if you have to survive without a flashlight? Uh, imagine it being dark already and you have to find your way. This method, you don't need to find any resin or any special equipment, special resources. You can just use spruce branches that can be found on the bottom of all the trees. Uh, there's a lot of spruce around my area, so uh, it's a great, great resource to use. So with the trees planted so close together, only the top ones get sunlight. So the bottom ones naturally kind of die off. Those were the ones you want to pick. So all these guys. Try to get them all about the same length. It's uh, a bit easier later on. And they're quite thick at the beginning, but the ends of them are super thin. They're like a little matchstick size. So you want to gather a bunch of them. That's one big bundle. Those uh, wind blows are exceptionally good. So they seem to have way more finer twigs at the end of the branches. them gathered you want to grab yourself a, a handful have the butt ends kind of the same the same uh, same length and all you're doing is kind of folding or rolling rolling it down to himself once you've done that Grab yourself a green spruce branch. And the reason why it's green is because it's flexible and it's also full of moisture. So it won't burn or as fast as the dry stuff. So what you're doing is grab your bundle and just tie it off. The way I tied them is Put your cordage or your split spruce branch onto a stone or the ground or whatever. Put your bundle on top of it, fold it over and wrap it around itself once. Tighten the whole thing up. You can rest on it with your knee. And then to tie it off you can wrap it around once more and because of the spring it'll it'll hold its tension like that there you go you'll end up with something like this if you repeat that you know as many times as you want tie them all together on a stick you're good to go uh, this one is really big you can make them any size you want any length you want uh, obviously the bigger, the taller they are, the longer they will burn. What I used is my uh, kukri. make short work of the little spruce branches.
by putting your kukri or your knife or whatever you're using onto a log, you can really easily split your twigs if they're too thick. They're a little bit easier to manage when they're only half. Now my preferred source of ignition is matches. Um, I think they're great. I think in a way they're more reliable than a lighter because you know how much matches you have left and you also know if they're wet or not. So keep them dry in a container and uh, they're a great, great source. So what you want to do is light your match and light your bundle in the middle. Well, that's it guys you want to be careful because it's going to drop loads of little flaming bit bits and you can light the forest uh, pretty easily but around here it's always wet some sad news to come um, unfortunately with the holidays over we won't be able to do weekly uploads anymore but there will be more videos so you're just gonna have to be a little bit more patient and uh, if you haven't watched the other content check it out please like share subscribe leave a comment tell me what you think and um, on to the next one cheers ow get rid of this